HIV infection, as we know today, we know that it was there since 1981. And when previously people used to be diagnosed with HIV infection, that was a almost sure shot that this patient is going to die very soon. But the things have changed today. We have with us Dr. Pradeep Bhattajare, who is the uh, director of the Emergency and Critical Care Services, Chirayu Medical College, Bhopal. Uh, Dr. Pradeep, tell us about the history of it. It will be interesting to know the HIV, how yes. the HIV has changed over the years. Uh, yes, Dr. Chawla, history is very interesting because it started uh, with the findings of uh, pneumocystis infection in patients in one of the hospitals in New York where uh, uh, subsequently they found that three, four, five cases, one after another, they are developing this pneumocystis infection. And they thought, ki why this is happening? And uh, then they retrospectively find, found out, tried to find out the cause, and they came out with the conclusion that these patients are suffering from severe kind of immunodeficiency syndrome. And there and then after it was discovered that, yes, HIV is something which is causing this kind of infection. Uh, thereafter, it uh, really took a very um, uh, virulent form all over the world, especially in African countries, developed countries, although they were fighting, developing world also started getting these kind of infections. And as we know, these are more prevalent in drug abusers as well as sex workers. So it was very prevalent in those communities. Uh, so in the year 1996, this heart therapy came, antiretroviral viral therapy. And uh, although it was a very effective kind of therapy, but uh, what it shown that uh, uh, although it is uh, controlling the complications and the problems which is arriving because of HIV, but uh, somehow it was not able to control the number of cases which are getting admitted in ICU, intensive care unit, because uh, giving therapy with heart was having it, its own complications, like development of iris, that was one of the thing. And uh, another thing which was observed that initially the patient group, which uh, the age group actually, which was getting involved with HIV infection was between 24 to 40 years of age. But now, uh, if you see today, if we look at the um, epidemiology and prevalence of the disease, now we find that the age has shifted from 40 years to 50 years. Now, most of the patients, uh, they are of older age group. They are